Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. My name's Shane and this is Green Sprout. And we are about to start our adventure in the Marauders Guild. This chap is probably going to make us go and murder some poor defenseless creatures. So let's make a start, shall we? Yes, I'm Words Owen. Axe Master they call me. Not the most imaginative of titles, I agree, but one should not underestimate the value of directness. I welcome your interest in our guild. He is quite a scary chap. The art of Marauder is used to rend, to cleave and to destroy. It is not our way to simply outfight our, adventure, our, our, adver, uh, our adversaries, we seek to overwhelm them. A Marauder must be the, more pa the most powerful and enduring presence on the battlefield, who must account for the most enemies defeated. Our role in combat is combat, that of a steel whirlwind, dealing death and destruction without equal. Nice. No doubt the question has already been put to you by Blowforther, but once more shall I challenge your commitment. Are you prepared for the bloody carnage that awaits the initiative of the Marauders Guild? Yes. Yes, I am. Very well, your name. Attend me well than green. Hold fast to this moment of dedication. The path of the Marauder is a jagged and perilous one. The blood that spills at your feet will oft time be your own. Fantastic. You stand now as a student of the axe. Let us waste no time in testing the edge of your chosen weapon. You shall wade straight away into combat, as befits the novice of our discipline. Go forth and slay the bleating, scurrying, crawling pests that plague the outskirts of Limsa Lominsa. Lost lambs, wharf rats, and little ladybugs. This sound terrifying. Shall be your piteous adversaries this day. Return to me once free of each creature has fallen to your blade. Okay then. So, yeah. Like I was saying, we now have to go and murder some poor defenseless creatures. Now, with like every MMO you always get this kind of thing. It's the same as fetch quests where you go and like collect three of something, four of another. This is no different, except that you get an actual story that goes along with it. And it's the one thing that separates Final Fantasy XIV from most MMOs. The story is forefront, it's the main reason for playing this game. Some people will skip the story, and that's completely up to them. You can play however you want, but you are, if that's how you play, you are going to be missing out on a large amount of the content. Because most of this is going to be me <laughs> reading what other people are saying. Unless people in the comments below start to say, Oi, stop doing that, your voice is annoying. We don't want to hear you struggle through pronouncing unpronounceable names. Well, it's not my fault that I'm not... Um, I'm not even sure what language the names are based on. Because even though they're not a real world race, the Rogadins, like, naming thing, it's almost Gaelic or Celtic, with the way that it kind of, like, has these weird syllables that flow together. There's one guy, and we'll see him soon, he's down in the, in the courtyard, and I swear his name is... I swear the person who typed his name just like slammed their face into the keyboard. Anyway, we're back at Badaron. Got a quest to complete, which will give us some XP. Which might actually get us our first level up. Ah, there you are, Green. Enjoy your jaunt around the city, did you? If you mean to base yourself in Limsa, that won't be the last time you'll visit them three places. And now you've got some idea of what's where, you can start exploring the rest of the town. 
We've shown a good ear for listening, lad. Stick with old Badron, and you'll go far. Excellent. And there we go. We leveled up. So, our second skill that we've got is actually our first cooldown. It's a defensive ability, which for now I am going to put up there. Heavy swing is a basic attack. And we will be coming back to later. And as you can see, the next main story quest isn't available to us. It comes available at level 4, so right now we can't do anything else. Except we already have one quest to do. I wonder what this young lady wants. Uh, that's a higher level thing than what we're ready for, so we will not do that quite yet. But anyway, let's have a look. We don't want to be going that way. However, there is a mini A for right there, so we will go down here. Get this A for right. And then we will head down and out, and we will start our actual combat. Slowly but surely we will end up with pretty much all of the Aetherites done, which may actually give us some XP. I cannot remember it's been that long since, but anyway. Let's go to the Aetherite Plaza, and from there we should be able to head out and start murdering some poor innocent creatures that cannot defend themselves. It's going to be fun. Also, as we gain levels, we'll actually start gaining the, um, also start acquiring equipment. So we'll stop looking like such a country bumpkin. Anyway, our first place to visit is out that way. So we need to be heading east. So strange to think that I started playing this game three years ago. And a lot of this is still very familiar. Here we go, out into the big wide world. Ooh, now this is new. Apparently I've already finished mapping the realm. Uh, we don't need you, because I already know all this, and I'll explain it as we go. Okay, so, before... They used to start it where you wouldn't have any of this already here. You would slowly but surely uncover the world as you went. Ha! Huh. It is different. Anyway, let's start killing. It's simple, you lock onto a target, and when you get close enough, you can activate your abilities. To the moment. We don't have many. And then you get experience points. You also um, bind an item once you've used it. So all of our clothing and weaponry now are bound to our bodies. Now then, we're in a fate at the moment, but we can't really do it, because we're not really high enough level. But what happens in a fate is you are tasked with doing small things. Oh. Let's finish. Um, but yeah. With fates, you are given little world quests in a given area, where you have to kill things, carry things, protect things. And that gives you bonus XP. Let's kill ourselves a ladybug. Yeah. 
Now this big dude here, this Gubu, we are not going to attack him because he will wreck us. At least at this level anyway. For now we are stuck squishing tiny vermin. Um, also, whilst you, whilst you are clicked on things and you are close enough to them, you will also auto attack. And they will make up a small percentage of your overall DPS. Something I won't have to worry too much about as a tank. Because eventually I just be soaking all the damage. Yeah, as we go. Oh, no, we're done with that one. Who's next? Aha, sheeps. Now these guys are level 3, so they're a level above us. But we should still be able to make... Oh, see that I'm missing. Yeah. But they do give more XP, which is what we want. In the very beginning of all classes, the combat is very simple, but it does get more complex as you go. This next kill should actually level me up. Somebody else honing their warrior maraud skills there. Will that be enough? No! Crap, I'm going to kill one more, because that will level me up. important because we need all the abilities we can get. There we go. We've leveled up again, we've completed the quest, and now let's return. In fact, you know what, actually, let's do a proper return and use the actual ability. And I think that other character then was about to try and trade with us, which used to cancel abilities, uh, used to cancel spells. So you would get trapped, basically, if you were trying to get away from somewhere. Very rude. Was amusing at first, but not after so long. Okay, let's go back up to the Marauders Guild by using the Aetherite. Uh, Marauders Guild. So eventually it becomes very quick to move around. Which is useful because this game is quite large. Now then, let's get our first reward from this fella. You are returned to me a different man. Already your face shows harder cast to realisation. The slaughter of which you are capable. Yeah, it's great that I've been murdering random little creatures. But there is much training to be done before you will wield the axe to its fullest potential. Learn well your lessons, build your strength, and make of each swing an instinctive act. You shall have this hunting log to aid you in that endeavour. Its pages are marked with components suitable for honing your skills. There are, of course, myriad methods by which you might improve your techniques. But when the way forward is not ready to re readily apparent, the log provides a reliable source of challenges. Every blow of your weapon will clear another step towards the mastery of the Marauder Way. Implacable, relentless. Such must be your momentum on both the practice grounds and the battlefield. Right, so now I need to get to level 5 before I can get my next Marauder quest. So it's level 4 for the main story, level 5 for this. It's time to do some grinding. Well, quest doing, maybe. Anyway. So yeah. The hunting log is actually a really good way of leveling up if you find yourself not wanting to actually do some of the other things. Right, 
So we have a, a side story here, so we'll go with this one. And it is level appropriate, which is good. Junaid seeks help with a growing problem in Limsa Limsa. An alarming number of citizens have gone missing of late, though I suspect you've already heard the rumours. It is essential that we ascertain their safety. To this end, I have prepared a list based on reports from our citizens. Would you be so kind as to deliver it to my colleagues in the Bulwark Hall? Delica is her name. My thanks in advance, my friend. So yeah, now we need to gain XP. Uh, Bulwark Hall is down below, so once again... Actually, no. Let's go grab another quest. Moradin. Eh. He is also level 2. Moradin would like to make you a completely legal proposition. Oh, this isn't going to be dodgy at all. You want for coin, Venturer? How do you fancy working for the Kraken's Arms? One of the greatest pirate crews in Limbs. Oh, great. If you're interested, take yourself up these steps here. Up these here steps to the balcony above. And talk to Cavalian. Our captain. Do right by him, and he'll do right by ye. Where is he? There we go. Now look at that view. Right, so what do you want? Greetings, friend, and welcome to the Seventh Sage, purveyors of the finest spices from the East. All of our products are guaranteed obtained through completely legal means. These guys are as dodgy as they come. Oh, do you not seek spices for employment? Well then, let us speak of how you might be of service to our organisation. Our misery returned from her latest voyage, bearing exotic spices, never before seen in, a, in, a, in, a, in Eorzea. I have prepared two samplers, each of which I would have you deliver to certain individuals. Sounds alright. First is for Junaid, whom you will find at the Coral Tower. The second is for Master Lins Ling Saf, Ling Saf, the head chef of the Bismarck. And do make certain the right person gets the right set. Go now and return here once you have done your stuff. Okie Koki. So quickly return to the Marauders Guild. Because we know that Junaid is here. Here you go. Have some tasties. Welcome to the headquarters of the Yellow Jackets, the Keepers of the Peace and Limbs of Laminsa. Is there aught I can assist you with? Yes, here you go. Have a bag of stuff. A sample of spice courtesy of the Seventh Sage to say, hmm, there is no mistake. This is fire sand and the kind used by the Garleans. Besides, quite intriguing. Very well. We will consider placing an order. Ah. Oh, you thought that you had brought me spice. I see you are not familiar with Cavalianisms. For the sake of convenience, he uses the word spice to refer to literally anything he has procured on the high seas. Lest you worry, the man isn't engaged in the activity that is considered piracy. Far from it. Think of him as a trader, a heavily armed one, who represents Lemins and interests in eastern lands. Ah, so he's not exactly undercover, but he helps wherever he can. Alright, fair enough. Anyway, now we need to go to the Bismarck, which is the foremost restaurant in the whole of Limsa, and quite possibly the whole of Eorzea. Eventually we will be cooking some delicious foods in here, but not quite yet. Anyway. new sample from the Seventh Sage. Alright, let's have a whiff of it then. Hmm, ain't smelled nothing like it before. The notice came of it says it's a root which grows in Orfard. Last I heard, Orfard was an under Imperial rule. How the Seven Elves had Cavalian managed to get hold of this? Any road. 
I reckon I can cook up something fresh and new with it. Thanks for the delivery, friend. Excellent. Let's head back over to him this way. With the quicker for it. And that'll give us a nice little chunk of XP. Welcome back, it would seem both samples were rather well received and this is no small part due to our affable career, aka me. It is unfortunate but notoriety accumulated over the course of years does not fade overnight. There are many still who are hesitant to do business with savage pirates. We keep referring to yourself as such, that's why. Yet, the old days of piracy have passed, giving way to a new wave of opportunity. My crew and I have decided to embrace this wave. With the Admiral's blessing, blessing, we engage in a form of trade with Guardian ships. Everything we do, you may rest assured, is within the law. Hmm, yeah, right. Uh, okay, so next quest is going to be downstairs. Shame there isn't a... Oh, actually, we might be able to get down that way. Over here, let's get this safe right. Okay, we're going to need a lot more XP, so we'll grab another side quest. Ooh, and this one will actually give me some new gear, which I cannot use quite yet. Alright then, love, what do you want? Beg your pardons, good sir, but are you an adventurer? Are you not? I realise this is sudden, but we urgently need help restocking our larders. We are in the midst of preparing a full course meal soon arriving guests, but I fear we are short of fresh lamb for the main course. I might already have the stuff for this. I would be grateful if you could procure four slices for us. I dare say I we could obtain these directly from the source wild lambs, which I've killed some already. In case you are unfamiliar with the creatures, I suggest you speak with Abelfar, a sentry stationed in Bulwark Hall. Just below the drowning wench. So I need to speak with him before I can hand you some tasty snacks. Fair enough. It's strange to see so many quest markers everywhere because in with my other character, the one I've been playing with for so long, there's no there's no um Best markers left anywhere. Okay, then so we need to go over here. This will also lead us back outside, I think. Hi. Welcome to Limsa Minza. If there's aught you would like to know, feel free to. Uh, hmm. You've got something for me, you say? A missing persons list. I'm not sure I follow. Thanks for bringing the list. I'll be sure to memorise these names. If any of the missing persons reappear, you can count on me to spot them. Most folk enter the city via the Zephyr Drift, which means they must pass through Bulwark Hall. That's why I'm on constant watch here. I'm assuming the bracket means she's whispering to me. And undercover so as to keep an eye out for suspicious activity. I've been doing this for so long I've become a pretty good judge of character if there's shady characters skulking about. You can rest assured I can pick them out. <laughs> Excellent. Ooh. And the person next to her also has a thing for us to do. So this is leading us through the side story of the disappearances, which will come into play later on. Tamo needs your help keeping the city 
a bright and cheery place. Uh oh. This is going to teach us how to use emotes, isn't it? Sounds like you're already in the Yellow Jacket's good graces. You truly are a model adventurer, a paragon among your fellows. Mm. You think you can do me a favour? You see, I'm supposed to go and fill up all these street lamps with oil, so they'll stay lit through the night. But thanks to this business of missing people, I can't simply up and leave my post. If you could tend to the street lamps in my stead, I'll be eternally grateful. Oh, kisses. Oh, and when you're finished, please fetch more oil from Sissy Poo. Sissy Q? Sissy Poo. In the Fisherman's Guild. We're running low here. She has care of our stores. Yes, key items. Uh, items that are key. Let's go and talk to this fellow first. Bismarck wants fresh lamb, does it? Gods, I could do with a, di a slice myself. Fresh off the grill and dripping in its own juices. Oh, man. No, no, I'm hungry. That's just not fair. Slurp. Sorry, friend. I haven't had a single bite to eat since my shift began. Any road. You can get lamb easily enough by hunting the lambs that graze outside the city. Go through the Zephyr Gate and follow the path east, south for a bit. You run into the fluffy and tasty critters before long. Right, so we need seven chunks of lamb. Nope, four chunks of lamb. We need to light some things. Let's go get the lamb, since we're here. And the street lamps are all the way over there. And hopefully there should be some um, of our hunt log hanging around as well. In fact, the lambs might actually be part of the hunt. Oh no, here we go. Wharf rats. Kill some more of those. They will get us all the XP we need, hopefully. To level up a bit more. Oop. Ladybugs are also on the menu. It's strange to think that eventually they do actually get rid of this particular style of quest. I don't think I needed to kill this wolf, right, did I? Ah oh, well. Anyway, lamb. Delicious, tasty lamb. Die. I do love the little sounds that they make. It is adorable. In fact, we're almost to the point where we can do the next main story quest. I do need some better gear though. My accuracy is terrible at the moment. Uh, let's get rid of this for high quality items. Something we will cover later on. Do I need any more? Nope. Here we go. And now we have our second combat move, which actually combos with our first. So, if we read <coughs> the descriptive text for Skull Sunder. Delivers an attack with potency of 100. Also increases enmity. Enmity is also known as fret or aggro. It causes the mobs, the creatures that you're attacking, to concentrate on you rather than on the rest of your party, which is what we want. So anyway, delivers an attack with a potency of 100. That's alright. Increases enmity, but if you combo it, it increases its um, potency to 200. So, we attack this guy and go boop. And then boop, we get a much bigger hit. It's 
it makes killing a bit more efficient. And marauders and warriors get uh, one, two, three, four different combos in total, I think. No, three different combos, sorry. That will put status effects onto the various things. Ooh. Now then. We've joined a fate that we're the correct level for. Um, don't know what we're supposed to be killing though. Tell you what, we'll do this. It'll be good practice. Maybe. What are we waiting for? Aha! Sheep! So yeah, we need to kill these. By killing them, we will get more XP. We help the local government. This could take a while, so what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to speed up this little thing when it comes to doing the video because I'm the only one doing it and I don't have a chocobo yet here we go, more sheep uh oh, this could be dangerous though because I'm getting the aggro uh, basically they're attempting to kill me which isn't very nice of them. Boy, it's getting me lots of XP. Let's do some more killing. On, sheeps. We're halfway there. That should be the last one. There we go. So we got some XP. We got some stuff. And that is all we have time for in this episode. I will see you guys next time. I've been Shane. This is Green Sprout. And we're making some progress.